All right, we have uh, Abby Stewart here, and we're going to open it straight up to questions. Hey, Abby, Alex Dodd from the Clemson Insider. How good does it feel for you today after uh, not having the best start to the season to come out and really have a great day and, and take a doubleheader and get a couple home runs? It felt really good just to get my confidence back, and I was just trying to hit the ball hard, and it paid off, so. Hey, Abby, it's Zach Wagner with uh, Tiger Net. How do you use today moving forward? How do you kind of keep this momentum going throughout the next few weekends of ACC play? I'm just going to look back, and if I start to struggle, remember that I'm capable of doing what I did today and use that to push me forward. How big was this game just for finding your confidence again and, and finding, you know, your, your approach at the plate and getting back to the way things were at, at times last year? This is a big game for me because I was really struggling, and now I can just use this to, like you said, boost my confidence and just continue to get better. Anything else for Abby? All right. Thanks, Abby. Thank you. Up Thank next, you. we have head coach John Rittman. And as soon as he's ready, we'll go ahead and uh, – Open it up to questions. One second. All right, Alex and Zach, whenever you're ready. Coach Alex Dodd from the Clemson Insider. How's it feel to come out today and, and really find your mojo on offense and, and keep things rolling and take a series in a doubleheader? Yeah, I think uh, today was a big momentum builder for our team, getting back home um, after a tough uh, ACC weekend series, uh, playing against a very scrappy Elon team with two veteran pitchers. I thought their their pitcher in the first job, uh, game did an outstanding job of keeping us off balance. Of course, uh, Abby and, and Marissa and Cammie had big games for us and JoJo, and that's what's kind of special about our lineup. We can get production anywhere in the lineup. and. You know, that, that pitcher's pretty good. She's beaten some Power 5 teams in the last couple of years, so we knew it was going to be a challenge. Uh, she had three different speeds, and she was, you know, hitting her spots pretty well in a pretty tight ball game. And uh, Cagle kept us in it in the circle. She didn't have her best stuff early, and she just competed, and, and uh, we got the victory. And then in game two, um, you know, we had the freshman Spencer going out. She just pitched, pitched terrific. Um, she gave up one hit. And uh, really um, kind of avoided getting behind in counts and, and uh, just pitched extremely well. And when she got into some tough situations, she was able to challenge hitters and get them out. So as a freshman, we're very proud of her performance. And then, of course, Abby Stewart with the home runs today. You know, um, I know she had mentioned uh, she's been struggling. And I think it's not so much struggling. I think she's just been pressing. You know, she got a chance to be in a lineup and. And uh, we know she, she had earned that right to be in the lineup after the, the January and, and the fall that she had uh, performing in our scrimmages. So uh, hats off to Abby. She's a hardworking kid and, and just a great performance by her today. But again, we had uh, a lot of people produce in that second game. And then Marissa had the big home run and, and put it away for us. But uh, Mackenzie Clark at the top of the lineup, you know, Gilstrap's just a scrappy little player and, you know, we had an injury with Matamor, so Kaya is playing first base, and she had some big at-bats for us today. So really proud of our effort, proud of the way we, uh, we played today in the doubleheader and, and uh, need to come out tomorrow and finish, finish the job. Hey, Coach, it's Zach Wagner with Tiger Net. You moved to 23-0 and now when you scored five or more runs with the 10-0 win. What does that speak to your offense? And just you can just send – nine girls up to the plate that can just knock the ball all over the park. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's obviously a weapon for us. And uh, I said all along, that was one of our main strengths last year and coming into this year was our offense and, and the way we can score runs. And, and certainly um, we faced some good pitching last week and, and uh, we can, like I said, we just have the ability to beat you in so many different ways. And, and as long as we're focused and locked in, um, you know, and, and competing at the plate, we're going to score some runs. And uh, But you also have to have pitching and, and play good defense, and I think we've done that as well. And that takes a little pressure off the offense, knowing that uh, your pitchers are going to keep you in the game. How impressed were you with both of your pitchers today, Valerie, in the first game, and then uh, Reagan coming out and having 
the one hit performance in the second game? You know, I was very impressed after a long weekend last week, we kind of uh, took it easy on them this week and let them kind of recover a little bit mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, and then, uh, you know, sometimes you just don't know how you're going to respond after a couple of days off and a long, you know, week in between games. But uh, I thought Valerie came out and, and competed very well in the circle and uh, she feels her position well. And, and really a lot of their hits, I mean, I think they had two swinging bunt hits and a couple of flares and she just never got detoured or let that bother her at all. She just kept attacking and pitched very well. And like I said, Reagan Spencer, um, you kind of see what she's about when she hits her spots and changes speeds, uh, very aggressive and, and challenged their hitters in some, some key situations early in the game. Uh, very proud of her performance. I mean, to, to throw a one hitter and, and do what she said, did today, we're very proud of her effort. You feel like you really have a true one-two punch uh, in the circle? as you, you know, 10 games in? Well, you know, it's really early, so time will tell. I think it's all, we're off to a good start, and we're getting some production from uh, Valerie and, and also <clears throat> Reagan. But also, you know, we have Millie Thompson, who's pitched some big innings for us. And, and then we have uh, Emma and Emma Whitfield and Logan Camel, who uh, have, have proven to be very effective pitchers for us. So I think our pitching staff complements each other very well. We're all a little bit different, and that can, that can be used as a weapon uh, against uh, teams.